When you think of the deadliest animal in the world, your first thought might be a shark or a lion or a lemur with a little knife. But what if I told you the deadliest animal is probably inside your home right now? Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM Loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. Look around your room. There's a good chance the deadliest animal in the world is nearby, buzzing around, annoying you, and getting ready to bite. Yes, we're talking about those mini vampires, mosquitoes. So what makes them so deadly, and how can we keep them from biting us? Mosquitoes have been around for more than 100 million years, so they even snacked on dinosaurs. They should make a movie about that. They're carnivorous insects with an average lifespan of one week to six months. Typically, male mosquitoes live around seven days, while female mosquitoes live weeks to months. And they're very, very annoying. Female mosquitoes are the only ones that suck blood, which they do to prepare to lay eggs. They need proteins and nutrients like iron for the development and health of the eggs. The mama mosquito will lay up to 200 eggs at a time in or near water. They then turn into larva, then a pupa, and finally, an adult mosquito. Now that we've gotten to know our new bloodthirsty frenemies, why are they so dangerous? Mosquitoes are carriers for some of the most deadly illnesses like malaria, West Nile, yellow fever, and dengue, causing millions of deaths worldwide every year. In the 20th century, malaria alone claimed between 150 million and 300 million lives. That's two to 5% of all 20th century deaths. And mosquitoes transmit these diseases in a variety of ways. It can be parasites that enter the host when she feeds, or a mosquito feeding on an infected human and then transmitting the infection via the mosquito's saliva to its next victim. But the thing I find most annoying about mosquitoes is how good they are at hunting our blood. That's because they use exhaled carbon dioxide, body odors, temperature, and movement to find their next feed. Mosquitoes track body heat with such precision that they can even detect where blood is closest to the surface of the skin. Researchers have found that they're able to do this using infrared detection from sensors in the tips of their antennae. Infrared radiation is a wave with a longer wavelength than what we can see with our eyes. Humans can't detect it. Within 10 centimeters, mosquitoes can more directly sense the heat rising from your skin. But results show that they start honing in on us from much further away, around 70 centimeters, using that infrared detection. Mosquitoes also rely on detecting carbon dioxide, both that we exhale and that our bodies release through our skin. They can smell that carbon dioxide seeping out from us, but it's not just the smell or heat that attracts them. Mosquitoes also depend heavily on seeing movement, especially on the ground level. So trying to dodge mosquitoes makes you an easier target than standing still, believe it or not. You wanna be valued for your thoughts and personality, and it turns out they were just in it for your carbon dioxide. Do better, mosquitoes. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Miranda, why can't we just get rid of mosquitoes? Well, being annoying isn't a reason to exterminate them. They're just feeding on our blood so they can feed their babies. You do the same. And it turns out they actually do some good in the world too. With over 3,500 species of mosquitoes, only around a couple hundred of those carry these deadly diseases. And most of them don't even like humans. Mosquitoes are food for birds, bats, frogs, and for fish as larvae. Without mosquitoes, thousands of plant species would lose a pollinator. They even become plant food when they decompose. So I guess do with that information what you will. Personally, I'll be using it to stay perfectly still to avoid showing up on their little mosquito radar. I'm gonna start right now. I can feel it working. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.